Hi, welcome back. Today, we are going to do a product review of the hiking boots that we like. We're gonna give you an example of the boots that we use when we go hiking. Um, this is not a paid product. This is not a promotion. It's not an endorsement. It just happens to be what we bought and we really like them so far. And um, we've been using them for a while and they're really comfortable and we like them. So we'll go over some of these shoes that we have here. So first off, we'll take a look at mine. These are my Keen hiking boots. Um, I find them to be very comfortable. They are very sturdy. As you can tell, they are strong built. Um, they are mostly leather uppers. They have some man-made materials included. Um, these are insulated. Some people might not like that for warmer months for hiking. Um, it doesn't bother me. They don't get to the point that they're too hot. Um, but they're also great in the winter time because my feet don't get frozen. They are waterproof. They have the uh, keen dry technology that's built in. They have the anti-slip soles on them. Um, as you can tell, we do use these. Uh, no, I did not get them all cleaned up before this. But um, these are a very comfortable boot. They are a very durable boot. And I have been very pleased with these so far. They have done really well for me. I've been using these for a little over a year now, I believe. I do not remember the model. <clears throat> Excuse me. I do not remember the model of these. Um, and I don't know where the box is or if I even still have it, but maybe there's some information there. Don't know. I do not see an actual code for it, but it is a very nice boot. It's a very strong boot. And it is one that I would recommend to others if you are looking for a heavy duty. Now, I'm sure there are lighter weight boots. These are a bit on the heavy side and they are the composite toe. They're not steel toe, but they're composite, but they will protect your toes if you're out uh, kicking through the rocks and around things that might fall on your feet. So they are a very good boot, and it's one that I use when I hike. The other shoe that I have are the Keen water shoes. Now, I have had these for a few years, um, more like about six years or so. I've used them off and on. Um, I actually found them uh, very good for like when I go kayaking, getting in and out of the kayak. When you have to step into the water, you don't want to get your tennis shoes all wet. Um, these have been very good for that. These are made with the paracord weaving. Um, they've been pretty sturdy so far. They are lightweight. They are very cool. Um, the bottom, it's an average bottom. It's not, I wouldn't say it's slip resistant. But, you know, it's sturdy, and if you're walking across rocks and things, it does protect your feet. Now, one drawback that I have with these, one thing that I do not like about these, is if you take these to the beach. Um, at first thought, you know, this would be great for walking in the beach, walking in the surf, you know, walking across the sand. If you're up on the sand, yeah, somewhat, but... Any of the little gritty stuff, any of the small shells, the small rocks, any of those little things go in between this weaving very easily and get trapped. So if you're walking in the surf, you're walking in the edge of the beach, you've got all those little shells gathering under your feet and just digging in and you can't get away from them unless you actually take the shoe off, rinse it out, and sand still seems to stay trapped in there. Actually, I think you can see some sand in there from the last time we went to the beach. But um, <clears throat> for walking along a creek, for kayaking, um, I have enjoyed these for that. Or just for a lightweight summer shoe to wear if I'm out and about somewhere and I don't want to put on tennis shoes, like for a very hot day. But the beach, places with small gritty things, this is definitely a no-go for me. One of the other things I really like about this boot is um, the high wrap on it for around your ankles. It really supports my ankles well, and it's padded, so it gives you a cushion when you're out on your hikes. The tongue is also somewhat padded. 
this gives me a lot of stability, um, especially on terrain that might be rocky and rough where you might twist your ankles easily. Or, well, in the past I've had trouble with, you know, my ankles rolling somewhat. This helps protect me against that. This keeps my ankles sturdy. It gives me a strong base to work from when I'm walking and hiking. Um, so that is an excellent feature also. And I like the little eyelets on here that the string passes into, hooks in, excuse me, a little cl close there. The string just hooks into the eyelets. I can't do that one-handed, but you get the idea here. They're just little hooks. And they've done really well for me when I've been using them. Uh, the strings are, I guess it's a nylon synthetic type mix. The strings are a very durable string. They have held up well for this time that I've used them. Uh, like I said, it's been about a year. So they have done extremely well. And they clean up pretty nice if I had taken the time to actually clean them up. They're not that hard to clean up. So Renee wants me to go ahead and go over her boots also uh, while I'm doing this. So I might as well go ahead and go over the boots that she wears. They are also a Keen. Uh, we do like the Keen brand so far. And like I said, this is not a, pre a paid promotion. It's not endorsed by Keen. Uh, just happened to be what we bought and we've really, really enjoyed them so far. Now her boot is about a mid high. It doesn't come all the way up tall like mine, but it's about a mid high on the ankle. And she said it really supports her well. Um, as many of you might know, the deaf sometimes have a balance issue. So you have a balance problem. This has really helped her keep her footing and be stable with that when we're hiking. So it's really helped with that a lot. Um, used to, we had our tennis shoes that we would go hike in and it was horrible. Uh, world of difference using an actual hiking shoe. These are Renee's boots. Um, she keeps them cleaned up a little bit more than I do. <laughs> she has had them um, actually a little bit longer than I have had mine. So she's had them over a year now. Um, and she wears them out even on just mild hikes. It doesn't have to be anything strenuous. It also has the anti-slip grip that really digs in, helps you keep your footing. Um, they are the leather uppers with some handmade material. Hers are not the composite or steel toe, which makes hers lighter weight than mine. They aren't, they aren't quite as lightweight, but they are very durable and they are heavy duty as far as withstanding the elements and, uh, you know, holding up to the hikes. As you can tell, they look fairly newish. Um, these also have the Keen Dry to, that are waterproofing to help keep your feet dry. Hers are not insulated per se. They do have a padding in them around the cuff. The padding make, helps it uh, to stay really comfortable for her. And uh, they're, it's got a, a real light liner to it, but that's mostly the wicking feature that helps keep your feet dry. Um, hers are not the insulated. Um, the interiors hold up really well on these. Um, I'm extremely bad on the interiors of mine. The way I walk, I end up grinding the interiors really bad on most of my shoes. But my hiking boots have held up really, really well. So we have been very pleased with this brand so far. And of course, yeah, I'm... I believe there were some that have, you know, different color schemes. You can get them with, you know, grays and blacks. And you can, we just went with the leather look. We like that. Um, I think hers was called, it's like a wine, almost like a boysenberry color or something. I'm not sure. That's more related to the detailing on the tongue and some of the accents. Um, they do have the little reflective stripe on hers. She got the ones that were for, uh, they were also marked for breast cancer awareness. Uh, that was one of the things that she liked about it that also supports that. Um, but they have been a very good shoe for her. And like I said, she's had hers longer than I've had mine. So she's had them for over a year, definitely. I got mine not too long after she did. But uh, you can see they, they do take a beating. They are stressed and worn. Um, and they have held up really, really well. 
So if anybody is looking for a good shoe, um, I can't really compare brands because this is the only brand we've used, but we would highly recommend this brand if you're looking for something. Like I said, the water shoes, if you're not going to the beach, I would recommend them, but anything that's gonna be sandy, gritty, shells, I, I would stay away from using these because it traps every bit of it under the webbing. Um, so hopefully that helps to give you some information about the shoes that we've been using. Um, like I said, we've really enjoyed these. They're comfortable and we like the fit. Um, they weren't overly expensive. They were what I would consider an average price for a hiking shoe. I know there are some out there that are several hundreds of dollars. These were just over a hundred, I believe, if I remember correctly. They were just over a hundred, between a hundred, 150, somewhere in that range. Uh, the water shoes, I think, were around 70. Don't remember. That's been a while back. I really don't remember very clearly on that. I know they were less than a hundred. I think they were around the 60, 70 range. Um, but if you are looking for a shoe, Keen, as far as we know so far, is a good brand. Um, we like them. So I hope that helps you if you're trying to make a decision on things. Um, we look forward to sharing more of our stuff with you, talking, talking about the equipment that we do have and use. Um, and uh, thank you for coming and watching this. Uh, we really appreciate each and every one of you. Be sure you like and subscribe. Um, we'll put a tag on here to subscribe with and um, hope you keep coming back to watch more of our videos and see more of our reviews and our trips and all the various things that we are getting into. So thank you so much for watching. Have a good evening.